नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स दिस इज एन जे ये होस्ट ऑन दिस चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल हैव अवर डिस्कशन ऑन द प्लेसमेंट ऑफ राहु एंड केतु इन योर नेटल चार्ट बट वी विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड इट ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द एलिमेंट्स ऑन व्हिच दे आर प्लेस्ड सो गाइस डेफिनेटली वी हैव हैड अवर डिस्कशन सो मेनी टाइम्स इन व्हिच हाउस एक्सिस राहु एंड केतु आर प्लेस्ड इन व्हिच जोडियक साइन इन व्हिच नक्षत्र देयर प्लेसमेंट इन द डिविजनल चार्ट बट इन दिस वीडियो वी विल ट्राई टू लुक एट द कंट्रीब्यूशन व्हिच कम्स इन फ्रॉम द एलिमेंट्स एज़ वेल लाइक हियर आई मेंट फायर एलिमेंट अर्थ एलिमेंट एयर एलिमेंट एंड द वाटर एलिमेंट now what gave me this idea so we are just coming out of a solar eclipse which just happened recently and just because um, it was coinciding with like obviously solar eclipse only happens at a time of the new moon but because of this new moon occurring on a monday it is like honored as a somvati amavasya so i went to haridwar a very um, holy pilgrimage place for the hindus and over there to take a dip in the holy uh, river ganga so i wanted to do that and just because you know because lot many people have turned up for that event and a lot many them were also getting their any of the pitra dosha puja done as well so guys you have to understand this thing that if you have these kind of yogas in your natal chart like rahu conjunct with moon ketu conjunct with moon kal sarv dosha so it is always recommended to get a, a dosha affliction removal a uh, ritual puja done at a time when the same alignment is happening in the nature as well so lot many people were there so although we do not have any like no one in my family has got any pitra dosha but just because uh, we wanted to get a, a ritual done a puja done to honor my ancestors and all so we got it done from a priest from a pandit and my interest is always in rahu and ketu so i got an into conversation with him so i just thought that i can somehow infuse all those tidbits which i received from that pandit ji as well in this video as well so okay guys let's just start our discussion so like the way we know this thing that whenever it comes down to rahu and ketu in our natal chart they somehow represents that what sort of entities with which our soul is still tied up in this lifetime so this could be a case that our problems which are going on in the life or this could be a case that some sort of exceptional unique talents which you have going on from generation to generation in your family so just the nodal axis can actually give you fair information of that even guys if you have to talk about the pitra dosha so like the way i've talked about that so many times that you know it's like for example it generally happens as a sin or mistake done by any of the family ancestors so like they were for example take up a random example that um, um your great great grandfather they usurped or someone's land which did not belong to them and that guy the victim in this situation committed a suicide so the guy who is held responsible for this act if there is going to be any child getting born during this whole process he might have that yoga in the chart and again guys understand this thing when your chart is somehow karmic the indication of that comes from so many different ways it is not going to be the case that just only one aspect is going to be creating problem for you like for example i will give you a basic overview so a couple of days back i did a reading for a, a regular client only so when we talk about to see the karmic impact so the person has got a mulank and bhagyank both being number 7 means date of birth and the complete sum total of the date of birth is 7 ascendant lord is placed in the 8th house uh, the native is born at a time of the uh, uh, krishna ashtami like the 8th day of the waning phase of the moon and uh, the like the nakshatra is punarvasu and the uh, yog and karan was also um, like i guess it was uh, bhadra vishti so that's what i'm trying to say and when we talk about uh, punarvasu so it has been mentioned in the scriptures that natives with the prominence of the punarvasu the majority of the life is spent in just building and managing the domestic family related concerns only so this is how you can see that if there are some flaws in your natal chart the promise or the indication of that will come from so many different places and like the way guys when we talk about rahu and ketu so are they only responsible for bringing problems in our life trust me when we talk about all those people with exceptional talents that sort of glitter 
and hypnotic attraction to someone's personality that is also somehow attached with Rahu and Ketu. Guys, this is not going to be an exaggeration to say this thing that in our natal chart and out of all the nine planets, if there is one planet or like a pair of planets which is very strongly connected with the nature which very strongly harmonizes with the nature they are only rahu and ketu whenever you come across all those kind of success stories that i did not know from where i got discovered one thing led to another thing and here i am successful at the top of the game and when you come across those kind of victim kind of stories that i did not know what was going on in my he head one thing led to another and i'm deep into this mess or when you come across those kind of situation that I did not know what led me towards buying that lottery ticket and suddenly it happened. I did not have any interest or any kind of inclination towards that specific person and somehow my life circumstances got aligned. I went to that person and it became responsible for my success. That very big break in the life. So this is how. That is the only reason guys we say this thing that no matter in which strength or dignity you have planets in your natal chart. But when we say that is there any one planet, a pair of planet, which has got this capacity to completely turn around your life? So those sort of talents are somehow attached with Rahu and Ketu only. So in short, if you want to understand, Rahu represents all those kind of experiences which your soul is craving for, your soul is hungry for, it has still not experienced it. And when we talk about Ketu, Ketu has got all the information of all of your deeds done from past so many lifetimes the awareness knowledge wisdom intelligence expertise is something which in a very consolidated way lies with the point where ketu is going to be placed in your chart so okay guys now after getting a brief idea about the importance of rahu and ketu now we will get into the connecting the nodal axis with the element so let's start first with the like let's place Rahu in the fire element. So guys, we know this thing that uh, if you have to place Rahu in the fire, so that means Rahu is going to be either placed in the Aries, Leo or the Sagittarius. So that in itself place Ketu opposite to it in a air zone. So now we have to balance the fire and the air element. Now, what's the first thing which you get to know? So again, guys, over here, like somehow there is a kind of a debate between the astrology community. But somehow I have felt this thing that and I have seen this thing in my research that Rahu and Ketu generally do very good in the odd signs. Now, that does not mean that because I have Rahu and Ketu in the odd signs. So I am advocating that. But I have generally seen in lot many charts. Rahu and Ketu being in the um, odd signs, they generally do good. So the very first thing which we get to know that how Rahu is going to be manifesting the energy. So guys understand this thing that Rahu is all about experiencing things which it is very curious about and a lot many times whatsoever is happening subconsciously to which you do not have any rational explanation is also attached with notes as well specifically with Rahu because the the side where Ketu is placed it is still trying to get out of it get away from it without any explanation but Rahu is something where knowing or unknowing your obsession lies so because of which guys when we talk about the like even if you have to see the virtues and when we talk about all sort of like vices connected with Rahu being in the fire sign so you can look at it in this way that this is a kind of a placement in which uh, Rahu hold this capacity to manifest results in a very um, fierce way like where the intensity is going to be very strong where uh, your capacity to be a pioneer is going to be very strong like this could be a case that out of all the elements Rahu being in the fire element somehow holds this capacity to rebel somehow holds this capacity for you to be the first one in your family ties that's something which and over here guys because Rahu is generally connected with the paternal grandfather so this could be a case that like your paternal grandfather might have a small traces of interest in that specific field but you were able to carve a niche for yourself and being able to do something which is very unique which no one else in your family would have done and the results generally comes in a very intense way and again guys capacity of Rahu to rebel to fight to usurp also tend to remain very strong so if I were to say um, and connect virtue and vices of Rahu being in the fire I would say beyond any doubt that the virtue will lie with Rahu 
being very intense very aggressive very forceful and the vices lies being with entanglement into fights aggression lawsuit related concern could also happen now guys when we go to the opposite side because now we have to balance the fire with the air element so now ketu is going to be placed in the air signs so now guys understand this thing that when we talk about air element it has got lot to do with the friendship it has to do with the kind of your um, prospects of your communication intellectual pursuit so over here ketu can work in such a mysterious way that whatsoever your intellectual leaning is going to be whomsoever people you are going to be strongly bonding with over there there might be some sort of unexplained behavior which you can see over there unexplained attachment inclination getting drawn towards something for which you do not have any rational explanation this could be a case that people who you strongly like see guys understand this thing ketu is a planet of strong likes and dislike if ketu is going to be prominent someone's chart the person is going to be die hard fan of someone or is going to be completely hate something so the point which i'm saying over here is that your intellectual pursuit along with that your connections your friendship travels everything is going to have a very unexplained kind of attachment interest inclination and guys like the way we say this thing that uh, because ketu is a headless planet so somehow in lot many cases it has been seen that because generally when we talk about the remedies so if ketu is placed in the um, air sign then uh, doing the mantra chanting and listening to the um, or reciting the uh, kathas the stories of the feat and accomplishment of the gods becomes very important okay guys let's move forward now let's place rahu in the earth sign so earth sign in our natal chart are uh, taurus virgo and capricorn so uh, one thing is for sure that with this kind of alignment generally when we talk about the remedies so if you have to do any remedy to appease the energy of the rahu so wearing a gemstone metal yantra uh, dev darshan becomes a very potent remedy for controlling this rahu guys one thing is for sure that this placement is generally considered as very good like even if you will try to connect the original kal purush kundli uh, houses as well where generally rahu is considered as very good so now let's try to break down the virtues and vices connected with if you will find rahu to be placed in the taurus virgo and capricorn like the way i mentioned this thing that wherever and in whichever element rahu is going to be placed in somehow natives um curiosity obsession and desires are going to be connected with that element now earth is a element which always craves for stability which always craves for the accomplishment which always craves for building something it's like the way guys we say this thing that see rahu has got everything to do with the spark of idea i still remember um like there was one very old guy i once consulted my astrological chart to him so this guy said this thing to me see upon your rahu is strong so i generally don't say this thing advise this thing to everyone but i'm saying this thing to you that whatsoever or whensoever any idea comes to you act on it like i'm i'm asking you to gamble but do act on it because if you will uh, not encash on that surge of idea opportunity you will lose out on it so whenever rahu will instill something in your head ensure to act on it so this is what is going to be the case with all those people who are going to have rahu placed in the earth signs so your capacity to build something out of it because guys the window of opportunity which gets opened up by the uh, specifically the nodes or when we talk about like 8th house so it is always very volatile it is also and always very short lived so unless and until you will not act on it the opportunity might get slipped from your hand second thing is that like all those people who started doing something which is very innovative which is very unique and they were able to build something on it that is generally the domain where people are going to have rahu being placed in the artha signs so definitely guys whether you will accept this thing or not like all the basic necessities of the life are somehow connected with the artha element we talk about the food we eat the family dynamics we are going to have and our daily life daily work life and what we will become and how we will be known in the life what exactly is going to be our mode of functioning in the society for our livelihood so if your rahu is going to be placed in the artha sign so your capacity 
to have that strong connection and like an antenna to receive some very productive, constructive material ideas, act on it and build something out of it tend to remain very strong. And definitely in the artha domain, your uniqueness is going to be there. Like the way, for example, um, Rahu being in the fire signs, they can do something which is going to end up inspiring the world. But Rahu in the artha signs is going to end up you being able to build something for your own good. Along with that, guys, um, like now let's go to the opposite side. So let's say, for example, if um, uh, Rahu is placed in the Artha sign, so that means Ketu is going to be placed in the water signs. So guys, understand this thing that um, Ketu placed in the water signs becomes very, very sensitive. Like the way we say this thing that whatsoever experiences you have to go through. Ketu's placement just tells about all the accumulated experiences of the past, your attachment, your likes, your dislike. They, this could be a case that if you have Ketu placed in the water signs, do you have phobia for certain things? Do you have some sort of intuitive gift or blessing in some specific area? Do you have some specific likings towards water? ocean water bodies or animals or something so this is how the peculiarity of ketu function if it is going to be placed in the water signs again guys generally um, we say this thing that uh, if ketu is going to be placed in the water signs so um, like meditation becomes very important keeping that calm state of mind becomes very important along with that strongly staying connected with the nature becomes very important and whenever nature is going to be somehow going to be sensitive like time of new moon full moon eclipses and all so those who have ketu placed in the water signs it all comes down to the evolutionary level of the soul and it also comes down to the dignity of ketu in which house in which nakshatra it is placed but one thing is for sure that whenever nature and prakriti is going to be sensitive it is going to be a time of awakening, new instilled ideas, epiphany for those people who are going to have Ketu placed in the water signs. And generally, guys, the remedies for um, Rahu Ketu in the water sign is always, uh, you know, um, flowing the or doing the donation and flowing it in the water, like Oshadi Snan, like, um, you know, um, taking the bath from the holy herbs. And like the way, for example, when I yesterday went to the, um, it was a Somvati Amavasya, I went to Haridwar, I ensured to take the, the food for the fish and put it in the flowing uh, Ganga river, holy Ganga river. So, okay, these are the things. Okay, now guys, let's move forward. Now, let's say, for example, if a Rahu is going to be placed in the, uh, in the air signs, which are Gemini, um, Libra and Aquarius. So guys, one thing is for sure that I have already mentioned this thing, whether the rest of the astrology community agree with me on this or not but Rahu and Ketu generally do very good uh, when they are placed in the odd signs that is the first thing which I want to say over here so now guys just because your Rahu is placed in the air element so what does it tell about see somehow Rahu is considered as a smoky shadow planet and somehow its qualities strongly resonate with the air element which has to do with the intellectual pursuit which has to do with the acquisition of knowledge and remaining very receptive towards new ideas, making connection, forming strong bonds. So guys, good part about this placement of Rahu being in the air element is that, like the way we say this thing that this person is so intelligent that he can make money out of the thin air. So those sort of receptivity with the nature, with the universe. Again guys, Rahu and Ketu, if you want to understand them in a very core way. So they just tells about that, that aspect of like nature, which might be hidden from the world, but you have that access towards the secret functioning of the universe. And well, now it all comes down to that in which domain, in which capacity the energies are working. What exactly is your moon nakshatra? What is the complete look and feel and theme of your whole chart? Is your chart very artha driven? Is your chart very uh, spirituality driven? Is your chart belongs to someone who's going to have very strong material success? This is how Rahu and Ketu will work in tandem with the overall structure of the chart. But one thing is for sure that you will definitely have that strong connection like that to um, work on a plane where you could be unique, where you have this capacity to innovate the world with your unique ideas. And along with that, guys, generally it has been seen that socialization, friendship, network, 
travels definitely play a very pivotal role important role and again guys Rahu is all about the experiences which you have to go through which are going to be unique which are going to be new which are going to be unexplored so in all these areas and domain you have that capacity and guys at the end of the day Rahu being in the um, air element are those people who are considered as and perceived as the so-called intellectuals in the society and again guys when we talk about doing any remedy for Rahu being in the air science it is always uh, recitation of the mantras and listening or recitation of the devakathas now guys now when we will come to the end where Ketu is placed now it is going to be placed in the fire signs which are the Aries Leo and the Sagittarius now the saving grace is that Ketu also has got its nakshatra placed in these zodiac signs as well but guys Ketu being in the fire element becomes exceptionally strong like the way whatsoever the overall structure and theme of your natal chart is Ketu will definitely act in a very intense way it will work in tandem in synchronicity with the overall look and feel of the chart but one thing is for sure that like with Ketu there is always this saying that Ketu is a planet with strong likes and dislikes and that statement gets very strongly applicable and valid for all those people who are going to have Ketu placed in the fire signs and God forbid along with this if your moon is also conjunct your ascendant lord is also conjunct with Ketu then this Ketu will become exceptionally strong so what kind of results it will manifest so again guys Ketu is considered as that it behaves akin or equivalent to the the energies of the planet Mars like it is the higher octane or domain of the functioning of the energies of the planet Mars now when we talk about fire element what does comes to your mind being a pioneer um, strong leadership qualities uh, we talk about with fire like something to do with where there's a lot of drive ambition thrust so with this kind of alignment you will definitely find that native will definitely have some sort of very strong phobias strong liking strong dislike towards something without any rational explanation second thing is that guys in lot many cases again that is the example which i gave about when uh, you are seeing ketu being in the fire sign and you are looking at the the uh, vices of it but when we talk about the virtue of it like the way guys Ketu also represents a hoisted flag so native might be born with like a leadership streak attached to it like generally I have seen that um, those people who take birth in some sort of regal family like where some sort of privilege comes handy to you or where you have this capacity to be a pioneer in your chosen field that generally manifest in this excess if you will find um, Ketu to be placed in the fire signs and again guys when we talk about the general remedies so if you want to appease this uh, Ketu so um, doing the um, uh, Havan the fire ritual is one of the best remedy for appeasing this Ketu along with that doing the fasting is also considered as very good remedy for appeasing this Ketu so now guys and lastly let's say for example if you will have Rahu being placed in the water signs so guys understand this thing that um, because your Rahu is going to be placed in the Cancer in the Scorpio or in the Pisces one thing is for sure that Rahu has everything to do with that sudden spark of idea of inspiration suddenness and all sort of surprise element water in any case tend to remain very sensitive very fragile very impressionable so again guys you will walk like a like a, a conduit of absorbing all the energies all around you like a sponge so it all comes down to that in which dignity overall structure and look and feel of the chart is let's say for example if your chart is drawn and given towards uh, being betrayed by friends being betrayed by your known your loved ones or this could be a case that your chart has got some sort of psychological some sort of you know um, um, inherited or hereditary problem and all so over there this Rahu can actually create a lot of chaos and havoc in someone's life but again guys when we talk about like your innate curiosity towards that you know self discovery or finding your unique identity your uniqueness in the world which can take you towards travels uh, philosophy or all sort of artistic creative endeavors regarding that front this could be a sigh of relief we all know this thing Rao's placement just tells about that all those experiences which yet are yet to happen where which all are very unexplored and you have got that 
unexplained attachment obsession towards those things now guys when we talk about um, and generally the remedy for rahu being placed in the water sign is always uh, oshadi snan like you know uh, taking the bath with the holy herbs connected with the energy of the zodiac sign and the planet and along with that flowing and donating things and putting things in the flowing water now guys uh, if your rahu is going to be placed in the uh, water sign that means your ketu is going to be placed in the artha sign now guys after understanding rahu being placed in the water sign that automatically places ketu being in the artha signs so the artha signs are taurus virgo capricorn like the way when we talk about the general remedies if you have to do for this ketu so for the artha signs like wearing a gemstone metal yantra is generally recommended along with that the dev darshanam like going for pilgrimages and all so guys how can we understand this axis or ketu's placement in the earth element so guys earth element has got everything to do with um, you know stability uh, structure in the life along with that what you will do for uh, earning your livelihood the discipline which you are going to have ethics you are going to have and ultimately your public image is somehow gets connected with the earth element like these all are the signs which gives us somehow stability they makes us rooted in the life now the esoteric energy of the ketu will work over here trust me guys i will not be surprised i've come across and the world has seen all those kind of uh, examples case studies where someone say that oh you are born with that disability this person is going to be always a liability to his or her family and that person only uh, develop some sort of unique talents which not only makes him pioneer in his field but give him or her global fame as well so the prospects of your livelihood are somehow very strongly deeply connected with the past something which the soul has earned this could be a case that some people you know invest their whole life in learning some specific art form and you just went there out of out of the blue and the minute you started playing that instrument the minute you started playing around with that uh, athletic uh, sport somehow you um, developed those sort of exceptional kind of you know expertise in that field which other people who have been working hard on that same department from past so many years were not able to do that along with that guys all sort of experiences in the earth aspect where we talk about your engagement with the family uh, assets or when we talk about your public image so all of that is going to be strongly connected with and again guys when we talk about ketu it is something where your likes and dislikes are going to be very strong and whatsoever you are doing you are operating or is happening in that department there is no rational explanation universe and nature is actually pulling the strings behind the scene so yes guys that is all what i can say for those who are going to have ketu being placed in any of the artha sign so yes guys this is something which i wanted to say as a part of my inputs for further more updates and notifications on the divine signs of vedic astrology please subscribe to my youtube channel and follow me on my instagram account dhanyawad